Hey, here's another dock project we're getting started on. We've got a 400 foot dock with a boat lift, catwalk, and uh, through flow decking is going to be a go around it. Uh, once we get this completed up, we should have it done hopefully tomorrow, weather permitting. We got this hurricane uh, bearing down on us now, or actually over in Houston, Texas, and it's kind of affecting us over here with some uh, rain bands and some strong winds. But as soon as we get this done and I get some videos of it, I'll get it posted for you. But this video here is a uh, seawall repair. You really got to watch your contractors before you hire one because this contractor here installed this wall in front of an existing wall that was failing. Instead of cutting the uh, walls on the sides and running new tieback walls to protect the customer, they just went over the top of that wall, which left an area for the wall to leak, which it has been leaking. They've been back several times, put filter cloth on it, didn't install it properly, then just dumped concrete in there trying to plug the hole. Well, you still have the same issue and have some sand washing out and losing water. So we got in there, excavated as best we can, tried to find the leaks without having to do a major tear out and in installing a new retainer wall on the sides. And I believe we've got it fixed. It's been several weeks now and it looks like it's holding up. So check this out if you got a same similar situation because it kind of gives you an idea of what to look for. Thanks. Now here's a wood wall that was not installed properly. Got uh, pilings out front that are like eight to 10 foot apart, which is way too far apart. We normally put them on five foot four centers. This is gonna cause uneven uh, pressure on the wall and cause it to bow out. Looks like they got a leak behind the wall. The uh, homeowner says they've contacted the contractor several times. They've come out and tried to repair it. Looks like they put a piece of filter cloth on the back side of the wall. Didn't really attach it properly. You see right here, our filter cloth was laid over top of a tieback rod, was never even secured to the wall. And so the water is just washing back behind that. And my theory right now, it's washing over here where it's tied into the neighbor's wall. That's typically where we have our leaks. Is we don't get secured real well. There's an area where water can wash in and out between the boards. And if there's not filter cloth in that area to protect it, it'll pull the sand right out between the boards and create a, a leak further down the wall somewhere. You can see here, this doesn't look like it was secured real well. So I'm sure it's probably a leak in this area right here somewhere. And right, probably right back in there, you see good whole water's washing it out right there and right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to excavate this area here, try to dig down and see what the root of the problem of this is and get it repaired properly. All right, I believe we have found the issue. There is another wall on the back side that this wall was put in front of. And they ran some filter cloth in front of that wall. Not sure why they did that but the water is actually traveling behind the filter cloth in front of the existing wall. Get down close enough, you might be able to see the water in there. See that water right there, and it's taking sand back and forth. This was the end of the filter cloth, which is pulling sand from this area all the way down here where we're digging now, where the new wall crosses over the old wall. And obviously there wasn't a good connection where it hopped over. We normally don't hop over, we usually cut the walls and run our new wall back and join the old wall into it. Uh, this was just done improperly, but we're going to fix it. Do it right the first time, you're not back doing it again. This is the existing dock on the seawall here. As you can see, it suffered a little bit of hurricane damage and just has not been rebuilt back in place yet. Not knowing how to fix the hole properly, they came back with concrete and tried to pour the hole full of concrete. What happens there is the sand just washes out below the concrete and the sand continues to wash out while the concrete's holding the dirt up top in place. And this makes it hard to repair because you got to get all that removed. Well, we found a couple issues. When they run the one baits in there, they butted them together. There's a probably about a half inch gap in between the one bait. You can see light shining right through it. And water and sand's pouring out through that gap. And then where it connects to the existing old wall, like I said earlier, they jumped over it instead of going through it and left big holes right there as well. We're trying to get everything exposed so we can see all the problems. 
and then get them sealed up with some lumber and then back it up with some filter cloth. And you can see that a hole right through it right there. That's right out where the sand washes through. We got some new lumber installed in the areas that were gapped open, closing those off, installed some new filter cloth. Got a real good, tight, secure fit. It's been several weeks since we've done the project and we haven't noticed a leak yet, so I believe we've got this taken care of without having to excavate the whole wall. Hey y'all, thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe now, hit the like and share button. If you got any comments or questions on how we do this, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll try to get back with you. Got a lot more projects coming up, so y'all keep on watching.